Gemini, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your mid-March to mid-April tarot reading. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. And if this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Let's find out what's going on for you from mid-March to mid-April. The first card out for you is the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Then we have the Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Lovers, which is Gemini energy. Your energy, so you're already coming out in your own reading, Gemini. Then we've got the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Star, which is a major arcana card, and that's Aquarius energy. Then we've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. The Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Hierophant, which is a major arcana card, and that's Taurus energy. So you could be dealing with Taurus, or Aquarius predominantly. And then we also have another major arcana card, which is the Strength card, and that's Leo energy. So you could be dealing with Leo, Taurus, or Aquarius predominantly, and any fire sign. And also water signs. And we've got temperance, which is Sagittarius energy. And that's the major arcana card. Actually, I'm going to leave it there. For now. So with the page of wands... This can indicate something coming into you or something coming towards you. It could indicate that you are taking action on something. For some of you, it could be in regards to a creative idea, a project. It could be also about the passion that you feel towards something or someone. But something's definitely coming into you here. And whatever it is, I feel there's a lot of passion attached to it. You, I believe that you, with the Seven of Cups here, you're looking at your options, for some of you at least. Um... For some of you, you could be looking back at things that have already happened, uh, things that never came, quite came about, things that didn't work out, and this could be related to a relationship, a career, anything like that. It could be that you're dreaming about wanting to improve your life. I feel that you... Uh, I've been struggling to, to a certain degree. Things have not been really going well for you lately. And maybe you're wanting to change your situation by taking passionate action. Or the type of action that you're taking, I feel, will perhaps lead to your circumstances being improved. But I feel this indicates for some of you that there are options or Op doors of opportunity opening for you. Some of you, you could be, it could be in regards to a relationship that some of you are looking back. Maybe wondering when things are going to improve or change in your love life. 
for some of you this could be an indication that new love is coming in for you someone that will treat you with respect and will will treat you in an equal way will be equally reciprocal towards you someone that will someone that you have a lot of, lot in common with i feel some of you it could it, this could strongly indicate new love coming in i feel for some of you and like i said i feel that some of you are really struggling at the moment struggling to balance things in your life and, and i feel this is in a lot of areas of your life um I feel that a lot of you have been walking a very fine line, you know, or a thin line, shall I say, you know, trying to keep things together. And it's, and you're determined, I feel, to overcome your struggles, to find a way through all of this. You, I don't think you are of that mindset that you're ready to give up, but there are times when it becomes quite overwhelming for you and it's a real battle I think for you to just just do everyday things you know just to just to get out of bed in the morning for some of you because of because I think you feel really quite low that you know because things are not going your way that your luck's not improving that things are not changing but I do feel like I said, there is change on the horizon. I feel that things are going to change. Um, yeah, of course, you want to see, you want to make progress. For some of you, this could be um, that you feel stuck in a dead end job, perhaps a job that's not where you're not making any progress. You're not climbing that career ladder in the way you thought you would. Um, some of you, this could be about love. You know, you're not constantly getting involved in relationships that seem to be doomed to failure, repeating those patterns, you know, attracting the same type of person into your life. And I think you're sick and tired of it. You want to see progress in your life. And at Six of Wands, this could be a strong indication that that progress is on its way to you, that things are going to turn around massively i will clarify some of these cards for you though gemini yeah so we've got the star here which is a great card to come up after because this tells me definitely that things are definitely going to improve for you that that your situation whether it's you stuck in a dead-end job or fed up with attracting the wrong type of person into your life fed up with not having enough money you know trying to balance things out in your life fed up with feeling low you know all of that i think i think all these situations are going to be healed i think you know this this the star is a card of wishes coming true so i feel like i said this the, a lot of these situations for a lot of you gemini's out there are going to improve and i feel that with it for some of you will come stability especially in the financial area with the queen of pentacles here i see that things will pick up for you financially and also i see that this could also indicate definite improvements in the career areas of your life um for some of you some of you may like i said take action and change your situation um, maybe you have a bright idea, a, a spark of an idea or a passionate project that you want to pursue, something um, that you want to go after that's going to really um, help increase your financial situation, improve your situation all around because you have got the page of wands here. So I, I feel that things are definitely um, going to change and this will bring stability and security into your lives I think for some of you definitely in the finances and career section of your life I feel that there are definite definite improvements for the better for some of you you might need to 
focus on you, you know, on on your overall well-being. Um, you may decide to pamper yourself in some way or do something that's going to benefit you um, in the physical sense, um, in the emotional sense. Of course, this can also be an indication, another indication that new love is coming in for you. It's directly underneath the lover's card. So for, I, I, for some of you, quite a percentage of you, I see new love definitely coming into your life. But I also see a lot of you um, making time for yourself, pampering yourself, spoiling yourself. Look, maybe you've let things slip where your own personal needs are concerned and I, I see you you starting to pay more attention to yourself here especially as things start to pick up and improve in your life it gives you more of um what's the word i'm looking for well it it gives you more enthusiasms, you know, um, to want to Im help improve yourself, I think. For some of you, there could be marriage on the cards as well, I see. Not only, like for some of you, like I said, security in financial situation and in the job front. New love coming in for some of you. And for some of you... Uh, definitely marriage is on is highlighted here on the cards of some of you uh, uh, or even if it's not marriage it might be engagement it could be just a higher level of commitment but for some of you things are going to be changing especially if you are in a relationship i see a higher level commit of commitment on the cards but i do feel that this comes definitely off the back of a struggle being directly under the seven of wands here i feel that for some of you um within a relationship that has been quite a struggle but i see you overcoming these difficulties and these problems and working being able to work things out there will be definite improvements to this situation and then we have the strength card and and like i said it's, it's been quite a testing time for you um but you know the strength card it, is not only a card of physical strength yeah you've got a lot of physical strength but it often points to inner strength it shows your growth and maturity you know and the fact that you've been able to deal with challenging situations with compassion and patience um i think that you've learned a lot of things from all your struggles i believe um I think you're taking and starting to take responsibility for yourself and your actions. With this power of self-control, you'll be able to approach your problems powerfully, and gracefully. Um, I, I feel because courage and patience are both needed in facing your fears. Connecting your inner and outer strength is key to embodying these impenetrable, ferocious energy with finesse and prowess. That's quite a tongue, quite a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> know that you have both the tools necessary, not only to, severe, to, to persevere, but to thrive. So, yeah, you have that strength within you. You have that power within you to get through any hard, difficult testing times, this card is saying. And, yeah, absolutely, you have patience. You know, um... Some of you, I did feel a bit of frustration um, because, I, and I did feel that some of you, yeah, I, I do feel there is a bit of frustration within you, but I think some of you are, are, are able to pull it back to a certain degree and realise that you've got to be patient with the whole process, with everything, that these improvements will come. So uh, let's let's do some clarifying. I'm going to clarify the six of wands and the six of wands is clarified by the four of cups and the hanged one. Yeah, 
So yeah, you you felt very dissatisfied. I think because because six of wands is a card of progress and success. Yeah, that's been a bit delayed for you. That's been a bit something frustrate uh, frustrating for you because things haven't progressed in the way you wanted them to, and it's left you feeling very dissatisfied, unfulfilled, and and not very happy in your life. You know, especially the frustration. Um, you have felt quite stuck because the hanged man also clarifies the six of wands. So you felt quite stuck. But I feel you're going to get that enlightenment that you need. You know, um, you're going to gain a certain wisdom and understanding from this, ex the, this experience, I feel. Whatever your experiences are, you know, whether it's through hardship in finance, through constantly attracting the wrong sort of person into your life through struggles within a relationship, I feel that you are going to overcome, like I said, all of these struggles and things are going to start to improve. But, but for some of you, for quite a while, I feel you're going to feel quite stuck in it, in your situation. But there is, like I said, things are definitely improving and I'm going to clarify the star for you. And that's clarified by the Page of Swords and the Chariot. So the star is clarified by the Page of Swords and the Chariot. Page of Swords is the card of communication. So I definitely see communication coming in for a lot of you. Um, the, and I do see that this is in regards to, especially your financial situation, your career situation. I see good news, especially coming also out with the chariot. Uh, you know, and, and this being, uh, these two cards being the clarifier for the star and you could be dealing with cancer or aquarius like i said um so yeah and i feel that this is you know when you see those signs of improvement when you see things are starting to change this is really going to your energy levels are going to sort of suddenly rise and you're suddenly going to have that burst of energy that newfound hope you know um because there is hope in this situation. There is hope for improvement. So um, all is not lost, I think. So I'm going to get some... I think I'm going to get some cards out from Soul's Journey for you. Actually, let's put these two cards here. Yeah, get some Soul's Journey cards out for you. I've got a self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So, yes, I think um, you've got to start having some self-belief and believing in yourself, realising that, you know, you are strong. You know, you've got that perseverance. You've got that inner strength. You haven't just got physical strength. You've got that inner strength. Um, and, you know... You might be going through a period at the moment where your self-esteem price is low because everything seems to be going wrong in your life at the moment, but that's going to improve. Remember remember that um, don't be trapped by your ego, you know. Don't, don't just assume everyone's doing better than you. Um, I think, you know, Start to believe in yourself and realise that you possess your own set of unique abilities and you're very you're a very capable person and you have meaning and a reason for being. Remember, you're a treasure chest of incredible gifts and insights and now is the time to celebrate you. Start celebrating you and believing in yourself. Have some faith in yourself, I think, because things are definitely going to improve for you. And then we've got courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yeah, courage. Um, I definitely think that you need to remind yourself that part of the challenge of being a soul is learning to honour your own power by listening to your inner voice and following its advice. You are acknowledging the, perf the perfection to your intuition Fear is only an illusion and obstacles are great opportunities for you to demonstrate that coming from a place of love will conquer all fears. Okay. 
perhaps you are changing career paths or entering an exciting new relationship. The test has been put before you because it's an opportunity to prove to yourself that you and only you can make the correct decision. By not taking that step forward, you might you may find yourself two steps back only to face the same obstacles again. So don't yeah, have, have faith in yourself, have that courage, you know, to keep don't give up. Keep trying because like I said, things are definitely going to turn around for you. Don't be afraid take the necessary steps to make those changes in your life that you need to make. And then we've got health. I will honour the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So yeah, I feel that you have to be reminded not to forget to look after your health. Not just your physical health, but your mental and emotional health. Uh, I feel that some of you are going to be doing that, you know, starting to pamper yourself or, you know, take care of yourself. I feel that a lot of you may have gone into a bit of a slump and uh, you may have started to let certain things slip about you personally, you know, like maybe not getting up early, always getting up late, um, not not making too much effort on your appearance, that, you know, all those little things that make you feel good about yourself, you know, you don't, don't do it for other people, do it for yourself, you know, um, and also the emotional and mental side, you know, um, you need to find that balance that inner peace you know to do perhaps do some creative pursuits find certain things that interest you things that make you feel happy do something that makes you feel happy basically make sure you don't neglect yourself so i'm going to get out one more card here and then yeah, also for some of you, you might be interested to know that there's a re reconciliations on the cards for some of you. Someone from your past is returning to your life. That's from the Romance Angels. So for some of you also, there could be a reconciliation. So I'm going to get you a final card out from the secret language of, secret language of the colours. And you've got coral. And it says, allow flow and synchronicity into your life so yeah coral restores physical vitality and its grounding properties to release stress worry and anxiety to see things from different points of view with coral you can also use this color to help heal a broken heart and also it helps bring synchronicity and flow into your life. So I do feel, you know, you, this is a colour definitely good to have around you when you've got new decisions to make and you want to help visualise stepping into a new, onto a new path, you know. It, this is a good grounding um, colour, you know. Um, and I feel it's very appropriate for a lot of you. So make sure you wear something in this colour or at least add this colour on your person. So that was your reading, Gemini. I hope it all works out for you. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.